2021 was a year to remember for a variety of reasons. It's practically impossible not to feel as if we're trapped in a complex time loop. GameStop stock is still roughly 10 times higher than it was at the start of the year, with little change in the company's fundamental outlook. Former President Donald Trump was banned from Twitter indefinitely, demonstrating the effective control exercised by centralized mega-corporations. To top it off, the public finally learned how Britney Spears regained control of her life. While none of us could have predicted any of these events, two things remain in the top of mind as we enter 2022. Number one, COVID-19 and its variants continue to be elusive. And number two, blockchain and cryptocurrency are continuing to change the ways we interact with each other. So, is 2022 the year where we tokenize everything? NFTs. 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 You may have heard people talking about NFTs. We're seeing how digital assets are progressively gaining recognition. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have finally been exposed to discovery audiences by trustworthy faces for the first time in their history. Shortly thereafter, images ranging from digital cats to LeBron James's highlight reels saturated our timelines. Inciting a new wave of crypto hype. The notable difference this time was the outlandish sums of money being spent. We were inundated with headlines claiming that these antiques had sold for virtually inconceivable sums of money, each one breaking the previous record. However, many people are left wondering, what's the big deal? Why can't you just save image with a right click? 2018 saw only $41 million in NFT sales, while the first half of 2021 alone saw an incredible increase to $2.5 billion of volume. We've seen a few awe-inspiring pieces come to market in 2021, some of which really changed the way we thought this technology could not only be used, but also how it could bring communities together. The sense of belonging and status that is developed around the Bored Ape Yacht Club and the crypto punk movements, for example, is simply incredible. While a number of celebrities have launched their own lines, there have been a few brands that have put together some stunning collections. Crypto is always something interesting to watch and it's, it's entertaining. Pixar's Timeless Collection, in which fans will be able to purchase NFTs with golden sculptures of popular Disney characters. So, what do we really need to expect from NFTs this year? First of all, the increase of NFT utility. By owning these digital assets, utility is beginning to take shape across the industry, particularly in terms of enriching various experiences, such as fan engagements for collectors or exclusive access to events. For example, in September 2021, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott released a collection of NFTs in which buyers could unlock items, such as autographed cleats or game jerseys. NFTs become more relevant to audiences outside of hardcore early adopters by intertwining the physical and digital worlds in this way. We've also seen some more virtuous NFT applications. Deepak Chopra, for example, recently launched Seva Love, an altruistic NFT platform. And I'm excited about announcing the launch of Seva.love, a platform that will use, develop, and auction NFTs. Chopra's goal with wearable digital collectibles is to provide artists, philanthropists, and brands with the tools they need to build communities around important causes. NFTs will play a major role in new kinds of investing. Since the advent of Bitcoin, People have used blockchain technology to make huge strides in creating new financial systems based on decentralized technology. This has been truly revolutionary in many respects. People everywhere can access new wealth building opportunities, and many unbanked populations can access financial services for the first time. Retail companies will play a huge role in the future of NFTs. NFT market growth will continue as the technology expands into the mainstream over the next year. A lot of top retail companies are getting into the space, including Prada, LVMH, Adidas, Puma, and many more. As more retailers enter the Web3 space, NFTs will enable new types of collaborations between major brands. These partnerships will include both virtual and physical products. Clothing companies, for example, can provide their customers with both physical goods and virtual wearables that can be worn in the metaverse. This is already happening with platforms like High Street. High Street is a marketplace on both web and VR that allows you to purchase the hottest limited edition goods in the world. 
At High Street, we don't just drop trendy products. We've completely reimagined how the marketplace works by building Street Smart, your best friend in the market. We believe that these types of collaborations will help to accelerate the growth of blockchain gaming and other metaversian experiences. The variety of experiences people can have in virtual spaces is growing as the popularity of flexible platforms like The Sandbox and Decentraland grows. Beyond blockchain-based gaming, the metaverse is expanding to include blockchain-based social, work, and creative environments.